shit to say, so I might as well just say. Just press the record the red button. Okay. Okay, I'm Norse Sam. I'm gonna do some spoken word for you if that's okay. Uh, do dig deep, it's a good cause. for blade and for putting on the night and thanks for having us, okay? I won't apologize for anything I do. Just like the government's lies that they feed to you. We mourn dead presidents, but nobody cares about the residents who live in a house that is ready to fall. Is that all? Is that all? We need someone like Robin Hood who slays the evil and helps the good. He'd probably be arrested, molested, detested. Cause the world doesn't stop if you might fail Or in jail impaled on a spike of a nail That's already in your hand from the cross that you bear That was not in your plan You might be tempted to rent it, then spend it With rent prices rising, governments not giving a toss Sell it with the luxurious view you can see from your cross We need to protest be devoted, not bloated with the shit that you read on Facebook and Twitter. You'd get more educational knowledge in a public shitter. Get a crane, get a truck, pry open your eyes, get a spray washer, wash away the scum and the lies, and do it before you're dead. Because if you don't, that stale shit will just get stuck inside your head. Did you ever think you were living a lie? No, cause if you did, all you would wanna do is cry or lie or die or buy and do life for yourself. One way or not, gathering dust on the shelf or waiting for change by the hands of someone else. Cause the world doesn't stop if you might fail or in jail or impaled on the spike of a nail that's already in your hand from the cross that you bear that was not in your plan. Thank you. This one is called uh, Messed It All Up. Do you, know, do you ever think in life that you could have made some, you know, you could have done things differently and you're like, oh Jesus, is there something I should have done well? Maybe sometimes I think, maybe I missed it all. I'm worried I've messed it all up. Wasted a life, disappointed a wife, squandered a fortune that should have been mine, prayed from a bar stool like as if it's a shrine, fallen in love with a friend called Excess who never helped me clean up any of the mess. Instead, just went out again in a skinny dress, called me all sorts of discomfort and distress. Too late to pray for any God for forgiveness. Sure, I wouldn't know where to start with any of my business. And if he heard all my sins, I doubt he'd forgive me. He'd probably call the cops to come and arrest me. Thanks. Do you ever notice in uh, life that we bow down too much? All the time we're like bowing down to the world, to your boss, to your friends, to your partners. And if you bow down too many times, well then, do you know, maybe you lose track of who you actually are, you know? So this one's called Bow. If you bow down to everything, it will infect itself inside you. Give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Maybe even take your smile. Could possibly even take your pride. And then where are you gonna hide? And then there's nothing and nothing and nothing and nothing and nothing you can do but slide and slide and slide and slide until you kind of recognize and you're caught in a state of shock and surprise can't even believe your eyes oh 
all I did was a little bow. How? 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 Thanks. <laughs> the, the microphone fall was an extra. Uh, it was an extra effect there. <laughs> Here, you ever see, here, I've got something that I just came up with the last day, and maybe you guys can help us, we can work it through. Um, there's a, uh, especially with spoken word, there's a certain uh, thing in the audience where you finish, and people are like, because spoken, uh, spoken word, you can stop for a minute and then come back in. So people are kind of, it's this nervous, hesitant moment that you're both kind of like, you finished, and they're like, well, oh, better not come in just in case, which is understandable, because if you come in and kind of hit you not finished, especially mine, if I was going, oh, fuck the government, fucking, you're like, let's go on. Did you just fucking come in there and fucking wrote it? So I understand kind of why people don't. So I came up with an idea that if, after I've done it, I go, boom! Then everybody knows, you know? So we can try one out anyway, a really short one. It's out of something, don't look what is not, but actually concentrate what you really got. Boom! Yay! Anyway, okay. Uh, this one is called. Uh, you know, poetry, uh, poetry obviously isn't uh, literally, mainly metaphoric. So this warning would go out to this one. This one is called uh, Eat Shit. So I suppose that was my disclaimer. Um, you guys can help me uh, through it. I do two lines, then the first line all the way through is the same. So I do two lines, then I come in, you come in, you'll know. Okay, Eat Shit. They say in life, you are what you eat. Well, how can we ever amount to anything when we eat so much? Shit from McDonald's, shit from the newspaper, shit from TV, shit from the most social media, shit from the newspapers, shit from your partner, shit from the government. Shit from the tax man! Oh no, he just robs your shit. <laughs> Are we supposed to eat shit our entire lives? <laughs> this one I have to figure out. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Okay. Uh, I don't really boast at all. It's not uh, me. Except for when I was the world champion, 2016 narcissist. <laughs> now I've been in the final for the past few years, but uh, Conor McGregor has wiped the fucking board every single year, and he's likely to take it for the next few years as well. Right? Anyway, so I don't really boast, but when it comes to escapism, King Kong ain't got shit on me. So this one's about it. Call it this one's called escapism. Over me came an eerie feeling that I can't be dealing with right now. Fireman, pint and a packet of crisps. What? Well, escapism comes in many different forms. Bags, booze, joints, pills, and many different porns. Running, cycling, tennis, charades, scrabble. Are any of the above your dabble? Now I know some of you have probably done one of the above. And maybe some of you have done some of the above. And maybe a few or one of you have done all of the above. And maybe even in one fucking night. <laughs> That might be all right, but maybe not. But I suppose the question you need to be asking yourself is, where are you escaping to? And where are you escaping from? Me, I'm sick and tired of escaping to a place where you think it was better than the last place you were, and it was for a while. Until then you found out it wasn't. And off I go on a good old escape to a vortex of dimensions, to 
back doors and front doors and various means and methods until I come to a place and I'd be going, fuck. Oh, I wish I didn't leave that place. Or was it even the place before? Fuck! So I think I've nowhere else to escape. I think I want to face it full on. I think I want to live. Boom! <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, is there time or uh, can I rant? Can I fucking rant? You bet I can fucking rant. Okay. Right. I get it. Okay. This. If you have a good idea, uh, sometimes we don't take it into account or take note. I'm sure the fucking Stone Age came up with fucking mobile phones, but they didn't bother chipping it on the wall, you know? So, anyway, this is called Good Idea. If you have a good idea, nurture it, feed it, give it space, and let it grow. Because you just never know what that beauty might become. Don't disregard, don't begrudge, don't deny, don't cast off, say shove off, cause it's yours for fuck's sake. It could have been your big break. Or maybe just a randomer that vacated our mind, making us think of things that we were oh so blind. Believing in yourself is an actual thing, you know? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, this one is about uh, standing up for yourself. It's called Stand. Which is actually a bit ironic because I'm going to fucking tell it lying down. Okay, Stand. Lying down. Savage done beaten, I lay. Not an ounce of energy left in my body. There are no values or achievements now that I seek as I lay in the gutter, all savaged and beaten. It's been years since I've eaten. Those thugs really did me up bad. The feelings are not of glad, but of sad that my comrades left me here to die. No compassion when I cried, and they really hoped I died. Didn't even wish me a quick death. I will not make this my last breath. I will walk the earth some more days and torment you more when you see my face. Boom. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna do two more. One is called Planet of the Apes. Oh no. So I'm gonna do two more. So for this, could you, uh, crowd participation? Uh, I suppose you've all got smartphones, so could you hold up your smartphones? Sure. Yeah, it's already one more, just to Oh yeah, okay, okay. Right, I'll do this last one then, I won't, uh, go on, okay? Hold up your phone, one phone, good. Hold <laughs> down your fucking phones! <laughs> Fuck you with your phone! Smartphones, making us look like clowns all over our cities and all over our towns. People won't even look each other in the eye. I'm too busy uploading my tunes on Spotify. Oh, there's an accident. Someone's in need, I'm too busy to look. Oh no, it's serious, they might need an operation or physio. Great, I'll put the whole thing on my YouTube video. It's like a disgrace to humanity. It's like a form of psychosis or insanity to statistically check your phones a hundred times a day. Someone's sitting there standing, not a fucking word to say. What's up with that? <laughs> I think social media has given us an anti-social greedier. Now get out your phones and check that shit up, we do beauty. <laughs> no, Sam, thanks very much. Thanks. Thank you. It's a good cause, guys. Dig again. The headliner. I was only warming up.
<laughs> oh yeah, she's gonna kick ass. Oh yeah, give it!